<laughs> okay, I'm Santiago. I'm from Northern Virginia, and I'm 16 years old. I started training Jersey for free flight in around June, so it took me about three months. Well, first I basically, um, I got an African Grey Parrot and he was severely clipped so I didn't like seeing that. So ever since I, ever since I got him a call, I just didn't want to keep her in a cage locked up the whole day. So I, wanted, I was interested in free flying from the beginning. So basically I found bird tricks on YouTube because you guys are really popular. So yeah, I was just going through free flight videos and I found that you guys were kind of like the more closer and local free flight trainers in my area. I started training Jersey for free flight in around June. So it took me about three months.
what probably was the, yeah, the biggest struggle would probably be desensitizing her to outside. Because when I took, when I first took um, Jersey outside, she was kind of scared of everything. She wouldn't stand on the perch if I'm not near her. She would fly to my shoulder and rush to my shoulder. So it was definitely desensitizing her to the outdoors. I haven't told much, many of my friends, but I've told my family. They kind of thought I was crazy. <laughs> they said they were going to fly away or they weren't going to come back, but I knew it wasn't going to happen. So yeah. She has escaped before and she just flew really high and far. So the first time that she took an exploratory flight, it was kind of nerve wracking. So I definitely couldn't have not learned this from a book or from the internet. You know, I definitely had to learn this from Dave because every bird is kind of different from one another. So training is kind of specific to your bird. The highlight was seeing Jersey fly. Yeah, going to level four and progressing really fast. So that was the highlight of the trip, just seeing her progress really fast. The GPS was never really there to be in place of training. It was more kind of just like a backup thing in case she did fly off or something but it was never really meant to depend on, I was never really depending on the GPS the whole time. I was depending more on what Dave taught me in the training. One, two, three, go! She's doing great. Oh, Jinxie, you done? I'm getting tired. Jersey? <laughs> yes! Oh, I did not see you. That oh, was like right <laughs> That was probably on my camera for sure. Nice. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job, so Jersey. 
Yeah, so the GPS was convenient to have. I wish I was recording that whole flight. It was really cool. Oh, one, one landed. Two landed. Mercury's in the air. <laughs> because it told me all the data about how fast she was flying and how far she was going. So this last, so this last flight that she took was about 35 miles per hour. That's how fast she was going, and she did about three miles. What's next? Next is Pahrump. That's what's next. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be yes. next. And and taking her home and desensitizing her to larger trees and be different areas. So I'm gonna have to definitely work at home harder. Yeah. The training has just kind of begun. It was never really like an insurance plan or something to depend on hardly. Yeah. That didn't really make sense. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. You want me to do it again? <laughs> Let me do it again. All right. <laughs>